One of my favorite quotes about setting the foundation of a great team is from Sir Dave Brailsford of British Cycling, who has a fascinating story, many ups and a few downs in his own right. But Dave, in the face of incredible pressure from his country and his organization, which was on the verge of breaking up, said this to his riders, I'm taking the crown off the head of the coach and putting it on the head of the rider. So let's discuss what he meant by that because every team should be having this conversation right now. And to understand the lesson, here's a bit more context to the quote. Dave Brailsford came to British Cycling at a low point in that organization's history. British Cycling had won one bronze medal in the 1996 Olympics. To all involved, this was a dismal performance for a country of such Olympic strength. On top of this, British Cycling was on the brink of insolvency, which essentially means they couldn't pay their bills. And despite that tremendous pressure, Dave says, I'm taking the crown off the head of the coach, off the organization, and giving over power to the riders. He was essentially saying, of course the organization has massive goals and needs, but he was going to hold back that pressure to let the riders set the way forward for themselves. And it paid off big time. British Cycling has gone on to win 12 or more Olympic medals in every game since then with at least half of those being gold. They've been the top country in the world. And Dave has gone on to replicate this kind of success with Britain's pro team, which had never had a British rider to win the Tour de France in over 100 years. And that team has now won seven of the last eight. Because Dave understands something very powerful for great teams that most fail to recognize. Because the old saying is there is no I in team, right? Great teams become so when people let go of their individual need and commit to the group, or at least that's what we believe. When people declare this isn't about me, it's about the team. And I just don't believe that's true. I don't think Dave Brailsford does either because it's seductive thinking and it sounds nice, but for most teams, that idea of there is no I in team doesn't work. I was doing some consulting for a professional sports team. They're in the business of teamwork at the highest level. And the goal is very clear, we win. And they had this belief that once you've made the team, once you're on the team, fully commit to the team, your goals are now our goals. Pledge duty to the cause, to the championship. Check yourself at the door. These were the beliefs. And of course we all get it. All teams want to believe that this is how it works. Forget being an individual. We're a team. Problem is it doesn't work. And for this team, it didn't work. The team didn't do well. Because of one word that bad teams are scared of, choice. You see, everything on a team changes when I have the choice for how I show up or if I show up at all. And when we fail to recognize that, we take away an essential motivator within great teams, individual drive. So we put the crown on the head of the rider. Because we're not all in this as one. I get that I'm on a team. We have one common goal, but my path to that goal is not the same as everyone else's. Because that's not the only goal in my life. In fact, my life has lots of goals. And I'm choosing to be here because this goal aligns with my life. So for all of us to be at our best, we need to know how the team goals fit into my life. Because I have a choice in this. So the real way great teams form is when this isn't just about me or you. It's not about this constant calculation about being in or out. For great teams, it's much simpler than that. It's much more empowering than that too. Great teams develop when each individual says, I care where we're going and I care why as well. So even when this starts getting hard, because at some point it's gonna get really hard, I'm gonna keep showing up because I care about the outcome. This is my choice. I know why it fits. I'm not silently squashing my goals or my opinion or my personal dreams. Being here is part of my goals. And I actually can't do this all on my own. I can't. I need a team. So I'm in it with you and I'm asking you to be in it with me. Like Dave Brailsford said way back when he turned British Cycling around, we all get it. We're here to win. The question is how? And that's going to take me, the coach, seeing you as an individual, recognizing you've chosen to be here, recognizing you have your own thoughts and your own journey and your own goals. You're not here to melt into the group or to stand alone. You're here because you care about being here. 
and you can't do this on your own. So let me help. Take the crown. My default is I trust you. My default is I think you'll do right. My default is you care about what we're doing. And when the culture of a team goes there, something shifts. The team taps into an honest, clear, real, creative tension that is won over by the individual choice to reach a common goal.